So my name is Helena Salzman. I'm from Germany and this is my first year here. I'm a sophomore and I really like going here because there are multiple things we can do in school and out of school. On the weekends um, we usually do go on school trips which is a lot of fun because we go with our very cool dorm parents that I love and yeah, you never really get bored here. There's lots of things you, the school offers like for example I just started tennis which is a lot of fun and yeah I can just it's cool. <laughs> my name is Naida. I am from Indonesia. This is my first year here and I'm a freshman. The location of Fox Farm Academy is really convenient because near our school there's supermarkets, there's restaurants, there's cafes and there's a bunch of places that you can visit. Um, there's public library, there's banks, there's a bunch of stuff that you can visit and it is really close that you can just walk there. So it is such a convenient place and there's also standard theater where you can watch movies. So my name is Long. I am from Vietnam. Um, I'm a senior. I've been studying at Oscar Academy for two years, almost two years. So. I feel that the classes here are, I guess, adequately challenging. I feel that I can actually learn from the teachers from like in kind of an intimate way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I retain more information like that. And the courses are great. They're challenging, of course. That's why I take them. But yeah, just what I need is uh, really great to prepare for college. Yeah, for Fox Growth Academy's activities, I mean, it's a very good thing to help you explore your uh, talent, interest, and passion. For me, like, I started a robotics club in the school in my senior year, and with the support of all faculty members and, you know, all the school staff, it turns out well, and we won the state championship for our first year. And also, the math team is... Um, it's also a very good um, club in FA because you know it's it's following a tradition to you know kind of being dominating you know the whole state and yeah it's very good to practice your skill and you know to improve yourself. Well, my roommate is really nice. She is amazing. I can tell her everything if I have some problems, and you know not only your roommate but every single one in the building you can talk to and then if you feel lonely and not you can just kind of sneak out and you know talk and everything so i love the sneak cycle out. of leaving yeah. in the dorms <laughs> yeah i agree it's to be honest when i came here i wasn't sure how i'm gonna like living with people all the time because i sometimes just want my privacy but it's really not bad at all like it's so much fun you have multiple people you can talk to about everything you want um like the people in the dorms really become your little family here. Um, yeah, and the dorm parents also. Like if you have problems, they're like your real parents. They take care of you, they really care of you, about you. And yeah, and my roommate is from the Dominican Republic. So I started taking Spanish here and it's also really cool because if I have any problems or questions, you can always answer my questions and it helps me to learn that language too. Like. So for my senior year, I mean, the hardest time probably would be, you know, a college application. And we have excellent school counselor and excellent librarian to support you, help you with like this kind of stuff, you know, writing an essay and doing all kind of, you know, documents, which is very boring. And <laughs> if there's support, you know, you have great chance to be successful during the application and it's really helping you to you know prepare for college. Um, we had this um, really solid schedule for every day in Vietnam yeah, we had to choose. and I like the idea of choosing my own courses here because I actually know what I want to do. I can actually experience what I might think is going to be in the future. And it's, it's very in Germany, the teachers, they give you the stuff you have to learn, and then that's it. Like, they give us a test, they give us the worksheets, but they're not really helping us in any way. They're more like, you're my student, 
that's it. Like, there's no personal relationship. If I see a teacher in the grocery store, I run. Like, <laughs> it's scary. Um, so I really like that people here care about you. They ask if you like, actually understood what people are talking about. Especially if you're a boarding student, they really make sure that you understand what the problem is. If, for example, in math, like, is there a math problem? My teacher's always like, did you understand this question? Or if you have any questions, like, just ask me. I can explain it to you. So I really do care, and they really want you to achieve anything you want, or like you wanted to achieve here. They're very, they're just really helpful. <laughs> Probably Asian countries are all the same. It's like our schedule is solid, and you know, we don't get to choose what we want to learn. But here, you know, the schedule is flexible, but which actually make it to, you know, a double play sword because for some um, students, they're trying to be lazy so they can, you know, choose easy class for them. But on the other side, that if the students really want to improve themselves, they can choose like, like challenging class and, you know, AP courses. That's all good for them to, you know, to get them to work and, you know, to learn a lot. What's the what people tell you to do here? Like the students that have been here longer, they tell you join a club. Yes, to it. Club. Yeah, yeah. Because it's actually fun. Like I know. if you start doing it, it actually is fun. And it's you might I mean you have to kind of step out of your comfort zone. But then it's fun. It's really fun. Yeah, like stepping out of the comfort zone is kinda of like this all about, you know, yeah. like yeah. actually going actually studying abroad in a new country and just expose yourself. Yeah, like what's the point of, you know, leaving your home country if you're at the end you're just staying in your room and do nothing. Right, right, just join true. any sports, any clubs, even though you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, you in can it. suck at it. It's so fun. Exactly, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Like just make new just friends, true. new, you know, new experience and everything. Right. Just don't stay in your room and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Having a lot of friends from all different countries and it's really fun. And yeah. Just and don't only make friends, you know, from the dorms. You have to make friends from all the school, you know, make friends outside the school, join the community, do some community service outside of school, and everything. I mean, change is good. And just just participate. Yeah, exactly. participate. Be brave to explore. It's just to explore not only like academically, but also the nature. It's a beautiful place. It's Maine. Right, the nature. Snowmobiling. <laughs> Like the more do something the more that you can't do in your home country. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that you can do in America that you can't do, uh, that you can't actually do back home. And it's really, really a good, good experience to do. Just use so. the opportunity and participate. Yes. Just <laughs> Improve your English. <laughs>